How's it going, everybody? My name is GN, and today I'm here with uh, with with Ron Balicki. As you know, I am six Kali classes deep. I'm a complete noob, and this is my journey from being a student who sat and watched into um, actually getting down and dirty. So I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is the most important lesson you can ever do with this with a knife is run. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, it's the first thing I advocate, but it's a different type of individual. I mean, if you're, I'm a good shooter, I could go shoot you, go home, doesn't look like I did, I did anything. I got cord, I wash my hands, I'm fine. A guy with a blade is way different animal. He doesn't mind getting a little bloody, a little, you know, getting hit, whatever else. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look to see if, uh, right now, if somebody had a knife, you're not there. All right, so, okay. Second thing is, if we're here, this is the interview. If I'm sitting here and I'm getting in your face and it's getting tense, you better know that I don't have it. Like, there's no clips or anything, I'd be aware of it. If I have a knife, I've got to pull and then go, right? Yeah. All right, so, there, if you know there are no clips or nothing, and if I'm back here, you shouldn't be here. If you can, it depends on your duty. If you're a police officer or military, you might have to stay put if you have to defend somebody. Right. But, right now, if I'm here, I've got to do two things. I've got to lift this shirt and I've got to grab the blade. You don't know if I'm coming out in reverse, or a fencing room, right? Or so if it's a gun. this does not work. If it's a gun, if it's anything, yeah. right? So this is the whole the whole objective to it. It doesn't make the best photos, still photos, because you're like, you know, on some yard. But if I'm here and I'm going to go, if I start to reach, don't let me reach. You grab the hands first. Grab. Just it. grab. Is there then, a way? You know, whatever. You just don't let me grab on whatever I'm going for. So grab. So if I do, uh, just grab. Whoop. And then you're going to check the belt line. What the heck was I going after? So that would be. So just. It better be jockage that I was really reaching the scratch because if there's something there, I want you to get it, get to it. So if it goes here, you grab it. Here, let's do it with you. All right, so if it's in there, keep it out just for camera's sake. Okay. Really, you would have to lift the shirt and go. So give me the, that, that split second longer, that nanosecond longer. So then you grab it and go. If you got your hand on it, I'm not going to let it come up. So if I don't clean out nuts here and nuts here, I don't care if you're punching me or not, I'm going to marry your hand to that blade. You know, ah, oh, just put yeah. it down there, okay? I don't care if it's sheathed or not. I'm putting it into the hip flexor, okay? So if, yeah. if, if and you'll see like a lot of, uh, when I was on a, a, a sheriff's department, I went through a, gun, a whole safety course and a gun course and a gun retention course. And one instructor that was teaching used to say, like they used to teach body mass, body mass, or, or center mass, center mass, head, right? He, he would go hip flexor, hip flexor, center mass. He said a lot of times you can take a fatal, and still operate. But if it goes here, it drops people. So he would go and then into here. So and I always thought about that because through my training through Darren Masanto, he would say hip flexors are big. You know, you'll see like if, if you round kick me, they they put the foot there and they'll stop it a lot more in here. Like a, a kick me if I just go here and you fake me, you can always kick that leg, right? If I try to foot stop it, I might be lucky, but if I go here, I'm always in seven minutes. If you kick me, it's always right here, and then, and then we can go. So it's the same deal with this. If I go to grab it, you grab it, and marry my hand to it. So right now, you don't let me let it go. Right. All right? Half pull, and insert. Uh -huh. Right to the floor. All right? So that's the first thing. But I'll teach law enforcement, I'll say, we're going to do knife disarming, and I usually get this, because they see the ugliness of it and how hard it is. Even at slow speed, if I'm doing that, I say take it away from me. It's tough, okay? And we've seen it. Guys pulls out, it's going. But here's the deal. If this thing is just coming out, you want to stop me before the feeding frenzy, okay? Before I go, uh, go, go off on it. So if you go here and I get it out, you better have a disarm. Because if you don't, I'm going to stick you. If you turn to run, I'm going to stick you. So that's why if it, once it comes out, and if you go to cut my throat or stab me, Right? So I want to go in here, all right? So just right now, we're over here. Let me grab Diana. Come on in here, Diana. Dude, don't go to work. I need you. Come here. Can I use my wife for a second? So if Hi, everybody. <laughs> she didn't know I was going to put her on this. Uh -huh. If this came out, when she goes, she's going to wipe it down, press it back in the knee, and then she's going to grab the pad of the thumb. Explain that. We grab the pad of the thumb because if you remember in anthropology, what gives our advantage over the animal kingdom is 
phone, right? Right. So anyway, so what I do is I redirect the energy, but I always want to come to the pad of the thumb. I want to control. So at that point, it becomes me versus the pad of the thumb. Even if I grab here, I can still come back here. Mm -hmm. And that sets me up for my first, we're going to go into yes, this, yes, first disarm. And that's me using the back of my hand. And I should explain this. We try very hard, we can to pick, pick it up with the back of the hand. I don't want to go like this because we have all these major veins and this is your bleeder, this is the feeler, is what we, we call it. So I pick it up with the feeler, I direct the energy toward him. I don't want to come like this, because then I cut, I put my, I make myself vulnerable, right? If I don't push the energy back into him. So I try to push it back in it and I redirect the energy and I come here with the pad of the thumb. And that's the for my first design. Okay. okay, so jump back in. Oh, no <laughs> oh, right, so right. here, here's the thing. If you come in, this is what we call a naked technique right now. You're not dressing it up with hitting, spitting, all those other things. Yes, if I pull and you go for it and you miss it, you're going to go. Right, you're pressing the knee, grab the pad of the thumb, right, right in there. Right in there. Right. Now, I'll give you a whole lesson on that in a second, but if I'm gripped on it, I want you to be here, or believe it or not, on the flat of the blade. And I'll explain why in a second. Take the flat of the uh, blade against your forearm. Against my forearm. Yep. Yep. Here. And from here. here. Right. Here. Yeah. Think of eye jabbing, and that's the deal. Okay. So the eye jab. That's very. Is, um, it's scary to think that. It is scary. You gotta put that edge against yourself. We're gonna get. I'm gonna get cut, right? Sure you are. Who says we're gonna leave unscathed? You know. But it's not picture, picture, reality, picture right? what's gonna happen if you don't try something. Right. So if you cut me. Right? And if I push that down, you wouldn't just stay there. You'd probably no. reinsert it here. Yeah. You wouldn't use the blade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so. so if he goes here like that, yeah. yeah. So now watch this. If I'm be real, real tight, real strong. If I go articulate your wrist, move it around, you can get around that. Yeah. Right? So look, yeah. that's not good. So if I grab the pad of the thing, it's ah. here. Now wait, I'm going to make it here better. You tell them what it feels like. If I press, be real strong. Ah! No, 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 no. Do you see the difference? Yes, sir. So what I do is I concentrate on the thumb itself, and I try to roll it as if I want the nail to roll up onto it. So now if I'm here like that, and I push the now we can go into this. So you get to do that to me now. <laughs> I will try. I will try. Uh, so press in. Okay, wait, so this uh, end? Yeah, from the top. Yeah, here, okay. Press so you're going to be trying to go yeah. So if I go like that, go that's here. here. Yeah. Into and now you. grab the pad of the thumb. Right. The pad of the thumb. So now put the thumb to the flat of the blade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's it. it. That's it right <laughs> there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right there. That's it. That's it. It's because if I didn't, you, I'll yeah. go wrong. This. See, if you grab it, if you grab it here, this is good. But if I'm a good strong guy and I get those guys with those like yeah. little pinkies as big as my thumb, but if you go right here, grab again, and then put. Yeah, it changes everything. I've got to put it here because it it's changes It's those little everything. nuances, right? Those yeah. little nuances, and that's right. why training this is now, important. Now, let's take it a little bit further. You cut me. I press down, I get to the pad of the thumb, but you go, uh-uh, you're going to twist out of it. I'm going to take it to the low. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so one more time. <laughs> so if you go here, press it in me. Press. Grip on. Boom. Put the flat of the arm to the flat of the blade, but I turn it. Yeah, I'll grab on the inside, yeah. slide with the pad of the thumb. Slide. This hand goes yep. to the pad of the thumb. This hand slides down, and this one goes to the. Oh, oh, okay. okay. So that's the one and the two. So. Oh, but the core of the lesson is always around the pad of the thumb. If she goes, but she's got that right. One, two. It's the same basic thing. If she goes in here and she digs it out and she gets one, oh, yeah. or if I turn, she's got two. It still follows the same principles. So come on in one more second. If you cut me, and if I bring it down, all right? Now I grip it. This is our one. So now this is where it turns into drilling the cotton. and people say it doesn't work. But what it does is it's supposed to follow if the person turned like you did, and then I go low. But if you're real strong, you won't let that wrist bend. Yeah. So then I just go right in here, and I'm gonna pull it this way. Uh -oh. So now we can go this way with it. Right. So it, it just goes on and on. Can I use you one more second? Yeah. So if she comes in, she's going to dig in one. one. Then I turn to two. See so if I'm strong, she's going to go. Keep going. So here, there. and I get hit. And then I can That's the three. And then That's back the here. Four. Now the two and the four are very similar. So one is the back of the hand, the feeler, and the other one is with the web and the hand. 
So, your turn. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's okay. okay. All right, so go ahead, dig in. Dig in. Press it down into me. Boom. You always want the blade against yeah. me more than you. Here. So, okay. take your one. I turn. Right. Grab it. Number two. Two. Forearm. Pat yeah. But I'm really strong. Put your forearm on top of mine. The, which one? This one? This one. This one. There. Now think of the headbutt. Drag me in the headbutt. No, no. Yes, oh, yeah. that's it. Oh. Now, drag you can either pull here or you can wrap and grab your own forearm and take it across my neck. Okay, okay. that's our oh. three. But let's just say you can't get it. Can I stop you? They turn it, release. Right, release. And? Whatever the hand. Whatever the hand, whatever the hand, whatever the hand. Yes, that yes. Uh, to the heavens. Oh, ah, that's it. And take the knife for it. Yeah. And again, always, again, the core of everything you're doing is all yeah. around that, but yeah. controlling the pad of the thumb. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, I could go on and on and on for sure. There's 12 movements in this first drill, and you stick four of them. But, and it doesn't mean you'll use all of them, but it's batting practice. And you need to know the angle. If you look and also, too, it's also like, you know when you're driving and you're in a lot of busy traffic and you go, oh, no, I want to go this way, but I realize because of the energy and the momentum of the traffic, it's better for me to turn this way. Yes. So I understand that there was, there was a lot there. And for somebody as a complete rookie to this, there's a lot that I need to work on. But my, my biggest takeaway is get to it before they get before it out. Before it gets out. And that the whole... If I grab, you marry my hand, yeah. don't let the hand out. Even yeah. if I'm hitting you, yeah. you pull, reinsert. You'll get a lot more success. If I get it out, you're, it's too late. Sometimes it's that point of return. You've committed, you got to stay for the whole game. And if you really think that if I'm like, I'm going to take you and I'm going to do it, and you feel that you're threatened, you've got to stay there. You yes, turn. Sir. You think he's going to run out and won't do it. I give you a little on the way out. You don't know. Yeah. You know so but when you still believe in running, though. Yes. Still the so, you know what? You go nurse your ego at home. Tell them there were 20, tell all your friends there were 20 guys and they all had weapons. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just just live. Get out of there. Yeah. Thank you so much for being uh, yeah. so generous. I'm going to go drill and practice and on I go with my journey, sir. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much.